Hi everybody, I'm Michael from New York and welcome to the first ever episode of Five Borough Food Tours Neighborhood Edition. All right, so we got our list of names right here, numbered one through 32. All five boroughs represented. And here we go. It's time, the time has come to pick our first neighborhood. Random number generator, where are we going? All right, Ooh, look at this. We got number 21, let's see where we're going. Wow, interesting. Carroll Gardens and Cobble Hill in Brooklyn, one of my favorite neighborhoods. Let's do it. So we just stepped outside of J Street Metro Tech subway station here in Brooklyn. We're gonna head towards my niece's home kitchen to grab some good Thai grub. As you know, I've got a special place in my heart for Thai food. So excited. Can't wait to explore this neighborhood and get some good food. Right, well, if there's anything you guys know we're known for here in New York, it's the tasty pizza. Anytime you're walking around New York and you see a place that says 99 cent pizza, do yourself a favor and get some. It's the best you're gonna get in New York. There's one right here. There's actually another one right across the street. You get a shot of that. They're everywhere. Give them a chance. The pizza's really, really, usually quite delicious. If I wasn't going to get Thai food now, I'd absolutely be going in there right now. All right, I felt absolutely compelled to stop here because there's just so many great things here to talk about. Not just specific to Brooklyn, but New York in general, and actually even wider, America in general. That right there, that didn't say dinner, that's a the Apollo diner. Diners are absolutely huge here in uh, the U.S. You get pretty much anything you want. You can eat breakfast at 10 o'clock at night. You can get a steak at 9 o'clock in the morning. They're just amazing places. You should definitely check one out any place in the U.S. you go. Actually, right below my feet, you see if you see these metal grates right here, right below that, the subway's running down there, guys. So every now and then when you're walking around, you hear some shattering and like the sound of the trains going by, and that's because they're literally right there, right below your feet. Can't get much cooler than that. Hey, that's my thing. This is actually what's kind of cool. I'm actually really happy we're starting here in Brooklyn. It's one of the most interesting parts of the city. First of all, it's the biggest borough in New York and the most populated. You have such a melting pot of cultures, a melting pot of people, and it's really all about the neighborhoods. Right, so right off the bat, I actually really like this menu. Very interesting. I've never seen a menu like this. It's a clipboard wrapped in plastic. A brewery. Uh, my mom came to visit. We actually went down to Krabi. Oh, yeah. Um, I love Krabi. I do too. And we did, I did my uh, orientation, Wahin, actually. Orientation? Yeah, so, so like, I was, so I was a teacher. So I, I, was, I taught English there. I still do. Um, but I taught English when I was there, and uh, we had to get trained on, you know, what to do, learn a little bit about Thai culture, a few basic words. I, I love coming to Thai restaurants. It's just, you know, for, for one, love Thai food, and for two, it's really, really fun to come and actually, like, make friends with the staff. I just had a nice conversation with our waitress who's from Bangkok, which is the capital city and where I lived and taught English. When I was out there, it was just... It was the greatest experience of my life. I lived there for about 16 months, and um, yeah, it was just it was just an amazing time, and it's really fun. To, they always really enjoy meeting a uh, American <laughs> who's not only been to Thailand but has lived in Thailand and knows a little bit of the language, knows a little about the culture, knows a little about the food. It's always really a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it's so cool to be here. It's it's funny because like I look at the menu. And sometimes I don't know what things are because I only know them by their Thai names. <laughs> like I would learn them by their Thai names. So like I'll see someone be like, oh, basil fried rice. I'm like, hmm, was basil fried rice? Oh, was that, oh, that was cow pie. It was like 
cow pad for wow, you know, stuff like that, you know, it was really, so little moments like that happen sometimes when I'm at these Thai restaurants here in New York. So what's interesting about this restaurant, such a characteristic, a lot of Thai restaurants here in New York is all the artwork. So you'll take a look, you'll see you know, pictures of Buddha, elephants, Cool. That's, they see a motorcycle right there so towards the entrance, the little motorbikes. Those are everywhere in Thailand. I would actually say that's a preferred way of getting around, <laughs> or cars. Like I remember when I was growing up here in the US, the big deal when you were a teenager is you get your license and you get your car. You drive your car around, you impress your friends with the car. Whereas there in Thailand, once you're old enough, you impress your friends with your motorcycle. <laughs> that's the way it is. So kind of a different little uh, thing. It's a nice little touch there, the entrance. All right, so got a little appetizer here to start off. So uh, my girlfriend got her tom kha. And uh, as for me, it's a little appetizer, some chicken curry puffs. Basically, it's just like almost like a little empanada, but instead it's got chicken, potatoes, and some curry. So let's give it a try, a little plum sauce. Definitely. Always a nice little sauce. Really good. Yeah, very good. You taste a nice little Thai curry sort of taste towards the end, which is really good. The outside is actually spiced really exactly the way one of these would taste in Thailand. These are really big, like the night markets. So if you go, you know, to one of the uh, food stalls or one of the local night markets, you're bound to find these somewhere. I don't remember what they were called in Thai, but I always really enjoyed them. So this little plum sauce is very typical. So these like little Thai, always like sort of these red sauces with Thai chilies. That's typically what these sauces are served with. This is actually a plum sauce though. And this is kind of a little vinegar sauce here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. It's got a lot of onions and stuff. So I prefer to use these, but uh, yeah, this is always one of my favorite little appetizers. So it's exciting to have it again. Let's see, Tomka is basically like a, uh, kind of spicy soup with uh, coconut milk and uh, some chicken and uh, mushrooms, so let's give it a try. Mm. It's really good. The coconut milk is delicious. I want a little more. Oh, that's really good. That's really, really, really nice and tasty. Um, you know, Got a knot of uh, a lot of stuff in here. Onions the, with the coconut milk it makes it so nice and flavorful. It gives it a real sort of nice little, uh, nice little flavor to it. Kind of tomatoey, also. Um, perfect blend, really is. This is really good. All right, so their timing could not possibly have been more perfect. Just finished my little curry puff appetizer. They were delicious, and uh, I just got my main course called pad siu. So patsyu is basically stir-fried noodles with soy sauce. They always add some additional things to a meat. I chose to get pork. That's usually the common one that people, pork or chicken, are the common ones that people get in Thailand. Uh, they also include Chinese broccoli, carrots, and usually egg as well. You can't get a too good a look at the egg. It's pretty small, but trust me when I tell you it's in there. Um, it's one of those popular street dishes. In Thailand, I used to get it at least once a week. It was one of my absolute favorite dishes there. Um, so just to have to give you a little translation, Thai lesson here for you. Pod is the way they say something's fried. So whenever you have something in the pod, it's usually a uh, fried dish of some kind. And siu is actually soy sauce. So when you say pod siu, it's literally like fried soy sauce. So we're literally calling it stir fried soy sauce, basically. And that's exactly what uh, pod siu is. So. Let's give this a try, shall we? So got a noodle here, whoa, these are big fat noodles, my goodness. Let's try to get a smaller one. Okay, here we go. Cheers, everyone. Mm. That's good, that's quite good. Um, I will say like in Thailand, it's not quite as oily, like this one's quite oily, but 
It's actually really good. A lot of the pots you use I've had here in the U.S. have been like sweet, and I haven't really liked that too much. Like it's almost like a syrup or something. But this is actually not too bad in that regard. It's it's actually quite nice. I really like it. Let's uh, press in the broccoli. That's good as well. So yeah, very nice dish. You know, a little bit Americanized, but very nice. This this street right here is about as Brooklyn as it gets right there. We're on Bergen Street here in Carroll Gardens. And if you take a look at these houses, these little brown stones down here at the bottom, the kind of classic sort of row house look to them. This is very New York, but it's especially very Brooklyn. I mean, you walk around almost any neighborhood in Brooklyn, you're gonna see lots and lots of streets that look exactly like this with all these row houses. I've personally always thought they were very cool myself. Remember, we had a family friend that had a place in Park Slope, just like this, with one of these little brownstones. And uh, I just thought it was always really kind of interesting. So, yeah, this is uh, definitely gives you a nice taste of Brooklyn right here. Wow, so what an evening here in Carroll Gardens. So we had a wonderful meal at Juanisa's home kitchen. It was so big, I couldn't even finish it. And by the way, I'm a pretty big eater, so that's kind of a big deal. But don't worry. I got leftovers for lunch for tomorrow. So, my final summary for today. Uh, One East's Home Kitchen was absolutely as authentic a taste of Thailand as I've had, probably since I've been back. I returned a little over a year ago, and I would say this might have been the most similar to the food in Thailand that I've had. The pot to you was absolutely perfect. It wasn't too sweet, it wasn't too sort of greasy. It was really, really good. So, I absolutely enjoyed it 100%. Uh, the neighborhood itself is really cool. You know, a very family-friendly neighborhood. That was kind of our theme for today, a family restaurant and a family neighborhood. And you look around, you just see there's sort of a real calmness about this area of Brooklyn. So really something uh, really something very cool, I think. And it's really cool to be uh, doing our little closing here on Bergen Street here in Brooklyn in front of all these row houses. So my overall review of One East is getting a perfect 5 out of 5 score. So that was my impression, but I encourage you to give it a try on Smith Street at Carroll Gardens, Juanisa's no, Home Kitchen. Not really. So for all of us, I want to thank you for watching our very first episode of uh, Five Borough Food Tours Neighborhood Edition. I'm Michael from New York, and I'll see you next time in a neighborhood near you. So uh, we were actually just watching the video back of my little summary, and uh, just a little thing to add, I just noticed there was, a, I guess, a young woman passing by who was on the phone in the background who I was in the middle of saying something I don't remember she was like not really I just want to clarify she was on the phone she seemed very upset I hope everything's okay with her but I just want to clarify it had nothing to do with our video everything I said take it at face value